How's it going? Got another one to look at today. This one, uh, not sure what to make of it. Looking at the gameplay video, it does appear very similar to Plate Up, which is uh, not a bad thing. It's one of my favorites. So uh, anything in the same vein or similar would be a welcome addition. So this one obviously is, uh, as you can tell by the title, Coffee Caravan, based on coffee. Uh, so, well, I guess Sergeant's going to set up my character. What am I looking at here? Ah, oh, yep. No, no face. Uh, I won't spend too what the <laughs> shorts, sure. Um, won't spend too much time on this, I guess. Ah, oh, I think I made myself a female. Sure. That'll do. So, don't know a lot about this one in terms of what makes it unique. But I like plate up and I like coffee, so. Thought it was worth a try. Okay, starting recipe. Easy start is drip coffee, and hard start is espresso. I might just go easy to start with. I've got a little recipe here. Grind the coffee beans in a grinder, put the ground beans in the drip coffee maker, and fill the kettle with water. Wait for the coffee to brew. One kettle has five servings. Serve in a large cup. And the espresso. Grind the beans. Put it in the machine, take the water from the sink, put it in the machine, place a small cup until it is filled. Let's see what makes that a hard start per se, but that's right, I'll start here. Now we'll do the tutorial. Move using the left stick, yep, press A to take the beans, press A to put them in the grinder, hold X to grind. Done. Take the ground coffee, okay, I don't need a container, and put it in the coffee maker. Take the water, put it in the coffee maker. All right, and that'll sit there and brew for a moment. Take a cup, pour the coffee from the coffee maker, serve the customer. This is very much a uh, plate up, isn't it? More than I actually thought, just from the look of it. That's okay. Let's uh, let's see what a real level looks like. What is this? Okay, so you sort of choose a progression. Well, plenty of levels. Extreme day. Okay. So we've got a choice of easy or hard. And then after that, what is that? A treasure. And that looks to be a shop on the left there. So maybe I'll stick to the left path, get a couple of treasures and a shop. If we make it that far. This device has ability that is required for one of the selected recipes. Okay. So, yep, yeah, sort of fam uh, familiar concept. If you've played Play It Up, you just want to lay out your kitchen, or in this case, van. And I'm not too concerned about the order just yet. I'm going to get everything in there and then I'll play around with it a bit. I need the sink. So drip coffee is a bit of an un unknown to me. I don't think I've ever made drip coffee. Then we take our coffee pretty serious here in Australia, so. Uh, it's espresso machines for me. <laughs> what have we got here? So I need to take the beans, put them in the grinder. Put the grinds in the coffee... You call that coffee pot. You to there, you to there. Put water in that. I'll do this even. So you go there, you go there. You go there. Take a cup. Grab that, wash there. We'll try that. 
first day, maybe it won't be too extreme. Take a bean, grind it. Put it in the coffee pot, add water. And we're ready. Just gonna stand here and watch you while you drink your coffee. Uh, is there an indicator of how many customers I have? Doesn't look to be. I'd just like to know whether I need to plan for another pot. That might have been shown before the level, actually. Yeah, pretty standard stuff stuff so far. I mean I have played played up extensively so maybe that's give me a good base just to get a, a good rhythm going with the the uh, simple procedures of making and preparing things. Okay, day completed, $36 I guess. Okay, so I'm I'm sticking to the left, so this is going to be a hard level, apparently. And... Okay, I think we'll keep everything the same. Oh, you can actually... When you unlock more recipes, presumably you can... You can choose, which is interesting. But pretty easy choice so far. One thing that played up uh, does better than this one is that you can push the customers around. <laughs> Not so here in Coffee Caravan. But I do think this kind of roguelike style game is a little bit underrated, a little bit underrepresented, I would say. Certainly would be upset if there was more of them. I feel like when I play, you know, a VR game or something, I don't always want an action horror shooter, anything like that. Sometimes just the, the casual chill ones, like cooking simulator or something, they just uh, hit the spot. I just like ones where you can interact with the environment to get, a, get some satisfying feedback. And, uh, you know, so far this is fairly satisfying, it's got a good feel to it. I'm just waiting to see what the real point of difference is. Why would you choose this over something like Plater? So I suppose the progression between levels is one thing that they do differently. I'm about to start my third level. My, out, my layout hasn't changed, my process hasn't changed. If anything, I've got a little bit more efficient just with uh, how I prepare things, but overall it's much of the same. But yeah, I'm, I'm just curious to see, you know, how are they going to make this harder? What are they introducing? Two different types of coffee would be the obvious choice. Two coffees on a table, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, only three levels in, but cruising so far. Okay. As I am one to do, I just always seem to stuff up little things like that. <laughs> and coffee doesn't seem to go cold either. So you can seemingly freely just place it and sit it, which is fine. Okay, done. So now we move on to a new little uh, stop here, which is a treasure. So what does that involve? 
choose a free treasure. Crash bin. $70 or something that's unlocked in the full game. There is an information button here. Trash bin. A space-time rift wrapped in plastic. It never fills up. It absorbs everything. I don't know that I need a trash bin. I'm not generating any waste, am I? So I will take the money, I suppose, because I'm stopping in at a shop next. Okay. What is that? Drip coffee and ice. Scoop ice and coffee into a large mug. Put the ground coffee beans in. Yep, so that's all standard, but I add ice, basically. Interesting. Espresso. Okay. There are branching recipes, I guess. What's the benefit of taking that, though? Does it just make it harder? Automatic grinder, dirty cups rack. Okay, that's potentially useful. Five second grinding process, automatic. It's slower than doing it manually, but you can just let it happen, obviously. A patient plant, 5% customer patience. I'm fairly sure that's pretty much exactly what's in later. Catchy ad. Okay, advertising for extra customer count. That's interesting. How much money have I got? 190. I am going to take... I'm, I'm just trying to work out whether this is useful to me, because I think I only have two cups, don't I? I can't take it all. Oh, yes, I can, actually. Yes, I can. Then we'll get back to my recipes. There. I think I will buy that, just to... Mix it up a little bit. I'll buy the dirty cups rack, even if it's not too useful yet. It may become useful. Oh, there's a reroll button to it, I didn't even see that. It's okay. So, uh, one more treasure for our trouble there. Another trash bin or more money. I'll just take the money. And now we've got couple of hard levels. You own a new recipe. In the preparation of the day, choose which recipes you want to brew. I'll do both. So I suppose my, qu my question here is, do I have the room? I can't put the bin out here. Seems like it. So dirty dishes go there. Oh, that's the auto grinder, isn't it? And occasionally someone will want ice. Can put that table in the store. Can I rotate that? If I do that, I don't have to leave. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? I'll try it. I may regret it. Not on here. That means I can also always have ground beans ready to go. You want an ice latte, so I'm going to take a cup, get that, get that. There you go. Sorry, that's not a latte at all, is it? You want one as well. A little bit fidgety in the corners there. Okay, plain coffee. So obviously we'll need to get more tables at some point. And I assume that it won't always be just one to a table. Ice doesn't require any prep, so that seems like a pretty easy choice. I wonder if this uh, gets into automation. Do I expect to convey a belt from the beans to the grinder at some point? Because that did become the most satisfying thing of uh, in, in plate up. I know I keep going back to that reference, but 
clear inspiration. I can't put that down anyway. I was hoping to just get that a head start. No, no, she doesn't want beans. Come on, come on, there it is. I should be watching that dish too. Well, that might be the end. Yep. Okay, so made a bit more money from the ice, which is something. And now we move on to another hard level. And then I choose whether I want treasures or potentially three shops. Got a bit of money. We'll see what it looks like after this level. Uh, looks like another one the same. Beans there, the beans there. I'll grind them, there we go. Yeah, this will be finicky in the corners. Okay, oops. So one thing I have noticed is there are patients, oh, there is a patients countdown. Pretty standard stuff. So do I just need to hope there's an extra table in the shop? Or a chair? Can they share a table? I don't know. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nope. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, I need to learn not to rely on corners. Coffee for you. Why would you put ice in that? Not intentional. And the queue's growing. So it seems like dirty dishes don't stop them sitting down, which is something to note. And day is done. Do I want to shop with $180 or do I want the treasure? Come on. I want to stick to the shop. A bit more control over what I buy. A turbo drip coffee maker. A street lamp. Customer movement speed, okay. Speed plant. Player movement speed. Three second coffee making process as opposed to five second. Is that worth investing in? Well, I suppose I could have both going, couldn't I? Then I'm limited by cups and tables, right? Not by speed plant as well, just for the sake of it. And then we'll move on. So this is another hard level, apparently. Can I go anywhere? Now, did I think this through? I might actually get rid of the old grinder. Can I store this, do we think? Okay, do I need to remove you? So... That's turbo. Is there a way I can do this without needing to rely on a corner? really is there. I only need the beans to go to the grinder, so I'm gonna put the beans there. Grind, put in, grind, put in. And we'll work out the rest. We'll give that a go.
advice for you. Maybe I need to expand outside of the caravan, do we think? Okay, the clean process starts again if you interrupt it, so keep that in mind to avoid. Clean coffee for you, I'm going to add brines and water to that, get a new pot going. Wouldn't mind something to uh, clean the dishes faster. a bit of a queue growing now so there is uh, certainly some progression happening and I'll take the ice what wonder if we're not going to caravan because this is um, painful trying to deal with these corners okay another ice one another pot finished get that going You very quickly do get into a, a nice rhythm with this. Another day done. What scares me is, you know, not much has changed. Coming out to an extreme day, all I can do is what I'm doing, right? Um, maybe I need to move the cups down. Get out of the corner. I don't like this tight squeeze though. I'll leave a coffee there. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try that. Is that silly? We'll see. Layer that's uh, distracting. Ah, I need to find a way to wash the dishes on the side so I don't block the progress. Or maybe we should just wash the bar and not the dish. Okay, yeah, thank you. Coffee with ice, please. Let's put that there. Definitely need another table sooner rather than later, I think. A Q3 deep now. At least these people are just putting ice in a coffee rather than adding cream and sugar and whatever else they do to make them sickly sweet. So at least the customers have good taste so far, right? This isn't some syrupy chain coffee. This is real shit. <laughs> drip, drip feeder, real shit, yep. <laughs> Um, I'll go to this shop, I suppose. Then that's taking me straight to a treasure. What do I get? Another counter, turbo sink. Here we go. Let's 
terms of water source cleans faster. No brainer, right? Can afford it. That should help. Money or more coffee beans? Don't think I need that. And I oh, can hopefully spend that money here straight away. Two large cups, here we go. Soothing fountain. Patience. Just need to confirm these need large cups, right? Yes. Two extra cups won't hurt. Don't know where I put them. Oh, I don't get to, I don't get to try it on a crazy day. End of the demo. Thank you for playing our demo. If you like the game, add it to your wish list so you don't miss the full release set for quarter one, 2024. Okay. Well, I'll certainly keep my eye on this one. It's um, it's not groundbreaking so much, but it's solid. And they're building something, you know, with, with some potential. Uh, so I suppose that's all I can really say. Had a bit of fun. Was keen to see some more. And uh, I'll, I'll be watching this one with a bit of interest. So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, yeah, subscribe to see more. Leave a comment and like. That really helps a lot. And uh, otherwise, I will see you next time.